Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to video 10 in my multi-video series on how to build an FPV drone for the absolute beginner. Today, so let's get back to this guy right here. We've made some significant improvements just by going from PWM to PPM and upgrading the radio. That's a rather significant improvement. Next thing I'm going to do on this guy is there is a place for a buzzer right there. Uh, normally it has like one of those little plastic things on it, kind of like this, but you can just break those off. And then that way you can solder some pins in there. I'm going to go ahead and solder a couple pins in there so that I've got pins like those two right there. I'll be able to use either a, what, a JST or a servo and plug a buzzer into that thing and then go into beta flight and rig how I want the buzzer to act. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, turn everything off here, unplug everything, and get those pins soldered in. All right, so I've soldered that one on, and in retrospect, I should have done a 90 degree angle, but it'll work. This is the VBAT right here, and if you don't want to use this connector, you just want to be able to use a servo or a JST, you can just break it off. Like that. I don't know whether this is... and lift it right off and you will see you're left with the two holes right there and now we can solder you're left with the two holes and now we can solder in those two holes whatever connection we want all right got my two new solder places done there's the uh right here is the buzzer and right here is an angle sticking out for the v-bat which i'm going to go ahead and solder Another one of these guys, this guy right here, this one's going to go to the camera eventually, but I'm going to go ahead and solder another one of these to the power distribution board so that I can send the VBAT information to the flight controller. All right, I got my JST patched into the power distribution board and I got my soldering done. So now it's just a matter of putting everything back together. I'm going to take this flight controller, put it back, piggyback on top of this guy and start reattaching everything. All right, so with my flight controller back in place and uh, all my ESCs plugged back in, just double, triple checking polarity, make sure all my signal wires are on top. All right, and then uh, for my VBAT, quadruple and quintuple check that I see the plus and the minus. There's a plus where I got my red wire going in and the minus where I got my black wire going in. And if I soldered it on the other side, okay, it shouldn't go poof. All right. All right, no poof. All right, so with our battery plugged in and our radio on, check it out. And if I flip this switch, Armed. see it throws a flag. Disarm motors. Armed. Disarm motors. Armed. Now all if you do is plug this, plug in this guy, and we can set him up. All right, so what we've done so far is we've tied into the VBAT directly from our power distribution board, and we've added a buzzer. Essentially now is where everything is gonna to come together. If you look at the screen, you can see that we're actually getting battery voltage information now from the flight controller. And it's uh, it's right around 16.45, we'll call it 16.45-ish. This is a four cell battery. It's got 14.8 volts. So here we're seeing a, a 16.51, and here we're seeing 16.28. So, and when I, when I checked it with the Fluke, it was actually a little bit less than this number right here. So we're gonna have to make an adjustment so that we're getting the right reading. But first, let me sh but first, let me show you how these things tie, tie in together. If we go in the power and battery page, we can determine when we want our buzzers to go off. So these numbers are by cell. I don't want my cells getting any lower than 3.4 because if we take 3.4 and we multiply it times four, we get 13.6. I don't want my 14.8 four cell batteries getting a whole lot lower than 3.6. Cells are 3.7 volts each. So 3.7 times a four cell battery would be 14.8. But we're only gonna, we're gonna break it down into cells. So my minimum cell voltage I've got set here to 3.4. And basically I want the buzzer to go off when it gets to 3.55. Oh, so what I wanna do to take care of the variance all right, so this one is showing 16.14. This one's showing 16.27. And our actual voltage is 16.19. All 
So with an actual voltage of 16.19 and it's showing 16.14, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. And I guess that needs to be calibrated. So that's where I'm going to leave that and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. So now we're getting accurate voltage readings. We've got a beeper that's going to go off when it gets below a certain range. And then don't forget our modes. Down here, we've got a beeper. We've, we've set a switch, a two position switch for the beeper to go off. Buzzer. And if that didn't sound very loud to you, it's because I had it muffled because it's extremely loud and it makes my dogs bark. So anyhow, um, that should wrap it up for this video. We've done a heck of a lot uh, between adding a new receiver and a new transmitter and a buzzer and a VBAT so that we're getting battery information. Um, we've made a heck of a lot of uh, good modifications to this thing. All right, so I'm basically at a point right now where I'm gonna do my pre-flight checklist, which uh, if you watched the last video, I just go screen by screen and I make sure that everything is working the way that it should be. And then I go ahead and I put my props on, make sure that they're on the right way and uh, take it outside for a fly. I appreciate you watching this video. If you're completely lost in any of this, please understand that there are nine videos that preceded this. And I think I'm at the point with nine previous videos where I could talk to my audience like they have an understanding of what I'm talking about and not insult their intelligence by going through the minutia of every single detail. If you're lost at this point, please go back, take a look at the playlist. Uh, feel free to watch any of those videos that you feel a little bit lost in or start at the beginning and watch them all. We've done a heck of a lot, but stick around, subscribe, and hit the little bell because we haven't done anything with the FPV stuff yet, and that is forthcoming. In addition, I'm going to be doing a completely different build with an F7 flight board, a 4-in-1 ESC, and all the newest, latest, and greatest tidbits. All right, let's also not forget that I've got a magnetometer and a barometer on here, and I've got a GPS kit, so uh, we'll be adding GPS to this thing at some point as well. I'm Steve. I appreciate you watching. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and stick around because we got a lot more coming. Thanks.